Well, boys and girls, if there ever was a not so glamorous aspect to this phone hoarding, here it is. A container that once held ice cream houses this slew of, well, <laughs> gathering mostly of old forgotten and obsolete tech stuff, which I didn't get to film. Now, before we sort through everything, I must mention that this is the way I get all my gadgets uh, most of the time. I have to sift, literally, through every piece of old forgotten tech that people always um, tend to uh, hoard and keep and not recycle. That means that I actually am not the only hoarder uh, who does this and that maybe some of you are interested in what I have to show you. So actually this is the Motorola KRZR K1 and I don't know what Cruiser is supposed to mean but anyway this is the name that Motorola chose for this particular model. It's a rather sleek and slim design and uh, already you can see uh, a pull as opposed to the well previous V360 that I filmed, it's much slimmer and it has better specs. It's, uh, it has a um, 2 megapixel camera on the back and a QCIF uh, camera on the front. And uh, well, really it follows the pattern and the design trends set by the Motorola V3 Raz Razer before it. Now, this sorry looking example has some deteriorating paint on the back and it's all sticky, gluey and grimy all over, though it still is in, well, it's, it, it still has the, its structural integrity, though sad to say I, even if this thing were to turn on, which it doesn't, I have the battery but it doesn't charge, though even if it did, well, I can really show you all that much, it's not a pleasant looking example. So I guess you'll have to just try to find out more about this in other videos and online. Next one on the old, on the old chopping block is this bulky looking Samsung which is actually the model that can be seen here and it is a well it's a SGH E590 and uh, well I don't know I kind of like the minimalist design I believe this was supposed to uh, cash in on the uh, mini uh, phone that that trend that was started in the early 2000 with the Nokia 8210 and gradually gain some favor so let's see what this thing is all about so the bulky looking thing is just a basic uh, uh, feature phone though it does have a 3.15 megapixel camera with autofocus which is pretty impressive and it's got a micro SD slot as well. Uh, it does also have Bluetooth, though no wireless. Other than that, I can't really tell you much because the battery is swollen. So that means that it's pretty far gone. And actually, I don't, I don't really see the point. I'm not confident in enough in this battery that I would uh, gladly charge it. Uh, so yeah, I believe I will skip this um, this phone and move on to the next. But before I do that, I can mention that it, its construction is pretty tight, even though it's all plastic, and that well, it does look high quality. And here are the insides beneath the battery, and it even has an SD card, I believe, a micro SD one. Yes. You can see the slot here on the side and I guess it I can remove the card from here. Okay, so moving on to the next, uh, well, <laughs> forgotten relic. This 
I don't know. If I were to be a bit uh, elegant, I would compare this to a bar of soap, though it does look like an oversized suppository. Uh, this is the LG LG T300, and I don't think this is much of a flagship, but I'll, I guess I will be able to find out really what this thing is. Yeah, the LG Cookie Light T300 and it sports a 2.4 inch um, color screen, 256,000 colors, a micro SD card slot, a 1.3 megapixel camera on the back, Bluetooth 2.1 though no wireless connection and of course it is a feature phone and not a smartphone at that. So here is the back. This phone actually is looking quite uh, quite okay, at least on the inside. The, the housing has some minor scuffs and scratches, and I have managed to charge up to top of the battery, but sadly it refuses to turn on. Well, it might as well sh should since it doesn't have a battery right now but just for the sake of it i'll just place this battery inside the phone and show you that i am trying my best to turn it on but nothing really happens anyway moving along here are a bunch of batteries and this my friends is an all view a5 Smiley. Now I have previously featured some all view phones on the on this channel line and generally I praise them for okay build construction and affordability though they're just the type of devices that you sort of can't wait to get rid of. You just can't wait to for them to break or just to give up and to move to the next one. Uh, which is kind of what happened here because I'm able to turn on this device uh, but nothing else happens except that when I press the LCD screen the colors go wild so yeah let's see what the all view a5 smiley is all about so I must apologize ladies and gentlemen since I could only find information on this all view by the name of all view A5 Easy though this is supposed to be the A5 Smiley. Anyway I don't think there's much of a difference and it's not really relevant to this video. Construction is rather nice but that's about all there is to this device. And lastly, finally, there's the Alcatel One Touch something or other though. I can't really know what this model is. I don't know if yeah, I'm able to open this grimy looking back cover, which well it's got a two component paint which started to disintegrate and peel off. Now I must say at first glance this is much higher quality than the all view and well it's got a bunch of things on the, here in the back seems to be better built the battery is bigger and better and just for the heck of it let me just show you the inside sorry about that um here it is this is the one touch 70 41 X. What that means I have no clue but I shall be finding out soon enough. So this is the Alcatel Pop C7 and well something popped in this phone because it has a broken screen. I don't know if you can see here it is. So somebody popped this thing real good. Now it's a shame because it's quite a nice looking phone and it sort of just feels next uh, next level compared to this Allview A5. This could have been a usable phone for somebody but now it doesn't even want to turn on so I guess I will leave it like at that. It's got a 5 inch uh, display with 400 by 864 resolution 
a 16.9 aspect ratio and a quad core 1.3 gigahertz CPU, uh, micro SD card uh, slot, and 4 gigs of RAM, 4 gigs of memory, 512 gigs of 512 megabytes of RAM. I'm not good at <laughs> reciting specs at a, at a fast pace. Uh, 5 megapixel camera on front and 5 megapixel on the back and an LED flash and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and jack and so on and so forth and I believe that's the last uh, phone in this pile-up mishmash of old forgotten obsolete texture that I have borrowed from a dear friend and I was actually quite excited about this this batch but some of them were hits and others were misses here's hoping I get some more interesting stuff and until then thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye